Today we're going to be giving a little bit of uh, history and insight into the Star of David symbol. Um, it's known in Hebrew as the Magen David, which literally means the Shield of David. And the truth is that the interlocking symmetrical triangle was a common symbol um, in the East, in the, in the ancient world. The hexagram also had, was, was very common in Shinto belief in Japan and an ast astrological figure in Persia. The history of the Star of David itself, nobody's really quite sure where it, or, where it originated or how it became like such a prominent identifiable symbol with, with Judaism. The earliest archaeological source is in an ancient synagogue in northern Israel that dates to the 6th century BCE. The carving that's on the synagogue depicts a victorious Babylonian king and a defeated king of Judah with a six-pointed star above his head. Other examples are from history. There's a 2,000-year-old Star of David carved on a stone in a, in a synagogue in Pekin. There's a six-pointed star in the ancient mosaic floor in Ein Ya'el and the Kfar Shura synagogue in Rosh Pina in the Upper Galilee. There is a coastal city in southern Italy that has a Jewish tombstone with the Star of David on it that dates from the third century. Some take this idea of the Shield of David literally, thinking that it was a symbol that was on the shields of David's army. Rav Tzvi Elimelech Shapira of Dinov says that there was actually a menorah on the, on the shields of David's army. And the Akedas Yitzchak said that Psalm 67, which is written sometimes in the shape of, men of menorah, you'll see in some uh, Sephardic prayer books uh, this, this as well, that that was what was written on uh, King David's uh, shields. Perhaps there is a connection between the seven branches of the menorah and the six points of the star with that center space as well. There could be a, a likely connection between those as well. The Talmud, the Gemara in Gittin, says that King Solomon had a seal that was used to control demons. Now, although the Talmud says that this seal was a name of God, various oral traditions teach that it was either a five or six pointed star. From these traditions uh, come many amulets that incorporate either a five-pointed or a six-pointed star to protect from malevolent forces. Unfortunately, many occult groups uh, throughout the ages and until today use these stars, either the five-pointed seal of Solomon or the six-pointed shield of David in their uh, magic practices. Judaism is clearly opposed to, to any of that. So again, some people suggest that King Solomon and his seal are the, are the source for the Star of David or for this being a Jewish symbol. Um, it has little support uh, for, uh, there's little support for this theory, but uh, it is such an idea. The Samaritans have a tradition that a six-pointed star represents the six cities of refuge. The Samaritans were a group that broke off from the early Hebrews. They have a tradition that the six-pointed star represents the six cities of refuge. Um, it may be that the armor during the Bar Kokhba rebellion uh, was engraved with a star of David. After all, the word Bar Kokhba means the son of the star. There's legends that the star was on the battle gear of the Maccabees as well. You know, as time continued, the symbol became more prevalent. We see it on the Leningrad Codex, which is the oldest complete manuscript of the Hebrew Bible, which which dates to around 1000 CE. Uh, in the 14th century, the, there were Hebrew Bibles from Spain that had this Star of David um, printed on it. In Sefer HaGvul, a 13th century Kabbalistic work by Rabbi David ben Yehuda HaChassid, he was the first one to unite this symbol of a six-pointed star with the words Magen David, the shield of David, that hexagram-shaped star that we identify with. During this period, um, throughout the Middle Ages, it was interchangeable, a five-pointed star, a six-pointed star, uh, and then eventually became designated, uh, as time continued, one, the five-pointed star being the shield of Solomon, the, the star of Solomon, or the, the sign of Solomon, the seal of Solomon, uh, and the six-pointed shield of David. In the 1400s, the Jews of Prague chose to display the six-pointed star on their communal flag. Likewise, this was done with the Jews in Budapest. In the 1600s, the Jews of Vienna incorporated it as their communal seal as well. 
And in the 1800s, the symbols spread to Jewish communities throughout the world. And what put it over the top was when it was adopted as a symbol of, of Zionism by the Second Zionist Congress in 1898. Some of the symbolism that has been associated with it through various sources, the Eretz HaChaim on Tilim says that there's an allusion to Jewish kings using this banner, that, that the ancient Jewish kings would use a banner that had a similar symbol on it. A six-pointed star uh, has in, was in ancient times a representation of royalty, it represented royalty. Another idea that's brought up about what's, what the significance of the uh, shield of David, the star of David is, is that it may be a reminder of God's dominion over the entire world in all six directions, up, down, right, left, forward, and back. It, it, Jewish mysticism, the mystics say that the two triangles represent the physical and the spiritual world, like almost as if they're two arrows, one pointing up, one pointing down, and it's the merge of the physical and spiritual. Um, as well as the relationship between God and mankind. And it's interesting for, take it or leave it, but just an interesting fact, that all of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet can be formed using the lines of this star. So again, the Star of David has a long history of loose, loose association with Judaism, and as time progressed, its prominence as a Jewish symbol, and only as a Jewish symbol, grew. I believe that the ambiguity of the Star of David's origin and the fact that uh, we're not really sure 100% how it became a part of Judaism is because, why the, why the ambiguity? Because Torah has always been the symbol of the Jewish people. We didn't need a, a banner or a symbol or a flag or all the other things that all the other nations of the world have. We have a, a symbol Torah. Torah is what represents us. Many people, other faiths, other nations, whatever, they tend to need or desire something that symbolizes them, what they represent, what they need, and have to craft either you know, some sort of symbol or imagery. Jews have Torah. Torah is what we live on. Torah is what makes our heart beat, what makes our, our blood flow. So if a Jew really wants to connect with the ultimate Jewish symbol, should embrace a little bit more Torah.